what we're doing today is we're going to show you how to weld it with AC, cast metal arc welding or MIG welding. Uh, this is one of the first machines that does AC MIG welding. It's uh, our smart welder. We got the advanced module that we did. We did a video on how to assemble it and we were missing a module. So we got that in, assembled it, and we're ready to go here. And we're pretty pumped about uh, trying to weld AC uh, MIG welding. To set it up, the first thing you're going to do is go to a search button on the machine. We'll show you this on the machine too, but we'll just give you a little preview right now. Um, so you're going to search. I think the first thing it asks you is, are you doing gas metal arc welding? So you're going to select MIG. Then it's going to ask you what material you're using. We're using aluminum, so we're going to select aluminum. Then it asks you the wire diameter, 364 of an inch, uh, your uh, wire composition, which is 4043. Then it asks you if you want to have it on constant, or, uh, constant voltage, or from what we're doing is AC, so we switch to AC. Then it automatically takes you to the proper program. Uh, it has a certain waveform in there that is uh, suitable for doing just this. Um, so if you were switching it up and doing a pulse, it's a different uh, program. If you're doing a spray transfer, it's a different program. But you can do a search and plug in your parameters and it automatically takes you there. It's uh, actually a really nice feature. What we're going to do is do a uh, lap joint, what we've typically been doing in these aluminum videos. And then we're also going to be using a push-pull gun. So this is just the first uh, actual lab we've done uh, using the smart roller. So we're going to get out there and we're going to start burning these lap joints in. Here we are at the machine. This is the, the smart roller. Uh, we had to do a little modification from the assembly video that we did. We had to add this right here. That's the advanced module that I said that we didn't have the first time that we did this. So we put this, raise this up, put this in here, and then it connects up here to the power source. AC MIG welding capabilities. So we're going to move to the front here and kind of show you how uh, the original program works for this and how you can get into your AC MIG welding. This is just a quick shot of the front of this thing before we go to the programming. We're going to start at the bottom, kind of zoom in. So that's the water cooler, which we had in the original assembly video. Then you go up, that's the advanced module. You can see the cords come out of the top of it and go into the power source right there. Keep going up. There's your wire feeder. So we'll fire it up now and show you how to actually program this to do AC. Now let's fire this thing up. Once it loads up, you can actually do a search on this unit for what you want to do. So it's going to start up here, and it's going to go right into the search mode because that's where we had it last. Ah, never mind, it's going to stick. We're going to down one, and that's your uh, mode, mode search. So to figure out what program you're going to want this on, you just go to begin. Let's see the process of one new big welding. Yep, we're going to do a little bit of big welding. It's a big steel. Stainless aluminum, silicon bronze, copper, whatever you want, it's in here already. So you scroll to what you're doing. So we're going aluminum, we're doing aluminum. Now it's asking for your wire size. We're using 364 of an inch, so we're going to work 364 of an inch. So it's asking for the waveform, constant voltage, we want to go AC, so there's AC. So we're going to hit and select. Now it's asking for the wire. Shielding gas, 4000 series aluminum. We're using 4043 with straight argons. So there it is. Pops up 393. That's the program we're using. Wire feed. Did a test one on here, and we were around 225. They're trimming 1.0. So we'll go ahead and we'll start welding these up. See how they come out.
This is the uh, first lap joint that we did with the new AC aluminum MIG welder. I got three of them here we'll show you. So that's the first one. I'll show you the second one. This is the second lap joint we did with the new AC aluminum MIG welder. Came out pretty good. Let's take a look at the third. This is the third lap joint we did. Kind of had a cold start for some reason. It kind of popped on me, but it came out all right. So that's the first lap that we did with the new AC MIG welder. Groundbreaking, right? 